Get ready for a major shakeup in the world of enterprise AI. The latest AIP conference from Palantir has unleashed a wave of groundbreaking announcements that could redefine the future of data analytics and AI usage. Let me break down these revelations, and believe me, this isn't just another tech conference, it's a treasure trove of insights for every Palantir investor out there. Palantir has pulled off some surprising and game-changing moves in the past, but what they unveiled at AIPCon didn't just grab attention, it dropped jaws. Major corporations are optimizing their pricing strategies in real time, and hospitals are saving hundreds of thousands of lives each year, all thanks to the Palantir platform. The real-world applications of this technology are mind-blowing, and the best part. It could lead to significant gains for investors, especially those paying attention. Now, let's dive into the core of Palantir's game-changing tech. Picture a system that makes traditional ERPs seem like flip phones in the smartphone era, or even like smart golden retrievers. That's essentially Palantir's platform, it's not just an upgrade, but a total reimagining of enterprise software. Traditional ERPs are like rigid, prefabricated houses, while Palantir's new ERP platform is more like advanced Lego blocks, flexible, adaptable, and able to fit any business need. And that's just the start. Let's break down the key features that make Palantir a true next-generation ERP system. 1. Data Integration on Another Level Palantir doesn't just connect data, it creates a unified data model that links everything together. Think of it as having a magical librarian who not only knows where every book is but also understands how they all relate to one another. That's Palantir's ontology system in action. Second, we have AI and machine learning, and this is where things get really exciting. I know AI gets mentioned a lot, but what Palantir does isn't just about storing and organizing data, it brings the data to life. It's like having a team of genius data scientists working around the clock, uncovering insights you never knew existed. Third, let's talk speed. Remember how ERP implementations used to take years and cost millions? Palantir is saying, we're talking weeks, not years. It's like the difference between building a house brick by brick and using huge prefab modules. Palantir's competitive edge over traditional ERP vendors is like comparing a Swiss army knife to a regular knife, they both cut, but one does a lot more. First, Palantir's flexibility allows it to adapt to your business processes, not the other way around. No more forcing square pegs into round holes. Second, the AI isn't just recording what happened, it's predicting what will happen and suggesting actions you can take. Lastly, and this is crucial, Palantir can work with your existing systems. It's not about ripping and replacing, but about enhancing and optimizing. Think of it as giving your old car a supercharged engine, instead of buying a brand new one. You might still be skeptical, and that's fair. But we've got real-world examples to prove it works. Take Komatsu, for example, they're using Foundry to optimize pricing in real time across their entire product range. Or look at Associated Materials, who transformed their supply chain, boosting on-time delivery from 40% to over 90%. These aren't small improvements, they're transformational changes for massive companies. In essence, Palantir isn't just a next-gen ERP, it's a complete paradigm shift in how businesses operate, turning data into a superpower. Companies that harness this power will leave their competitors in the dust. When you think about how technological leaps translate into market leadership and dominance, it's clear that there are significant returns for early adopters. Let's look at some more real-world applications of Foundry. One use case is life or death, at Tampa General Hospital, Palantir isn't just improving business metrics, it's saving lives. Sepsis, a life-threatening condition, is notoriously hard to detect early, like finding a snowflake in a blizzard. But Foundry has changed the game, integrating data from various hospital systems, both structured and unstructured, and using AI to analyze patient data in real time. The result? It's estimated that Foundry is saving 300 lives annually at that hospital alone. That's 300 families spared from unnecessary tragedy. On top of that, 
hospital stays for sepsis patients were reduced by 15%, and mortality rates were cut in half compared to the national average. But Palantir's impact doesn't stop there. Let's look at Aramark, a food service giant with a massive product catalog. Organizing millions of products, each with unique attributes, across different systems is like trying to alphabetize a library where the books keep changing languages. Foundry's large language models stepped in, automatically matching and classifying products across systems. The result? 30% of products were matched with over 99% confidence, saving countless hours of manual, repetitive work. And it's not just about efficiency, this unified view of products is giving Aramark new insights into their product life cycle, from procurement to sales, so they know exactly what they're doing. Now, let's step back and admire the range of industries Palantir is impacting, from heavy machinery and building materials to life-saving healthcare and food services. Palantir is proving its versatility and power across the board, and that's just the private sector. These are only a few examples of Palantir's clients. Imagine the potential as more companies in more industries adopt this technology, and their competitors suddenly realize they're 30% cheaper and 90% faster. As we discuss market potential next, keep those points in mind. Yes, we're looking at stock projections, but these numbers represent real-world transformations, reshaping industries and potentially entire business landscapes. So, the big question is, how massive could this revolution become? The key to Palantir's software being a cut above the rest lies in its AI and machine learning capabilities. Palantir isn't just using AI, it's integrating it at a level that makes other systems seem outdated, like comparing a modern smartphone to a rotary phone. Both are communication devices, sure, but one is years ahead. By the way, if you are benefiting from the content so far and want more like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications bell, and comment the word more. Just go ahead and type the word more so I know. Let's break it down. Palantir uses advanced machine learning algorithms to make sense of immense amounts of data. It's not just about processing numbers, but identifying patterns and insights, working tirelessly and never missing a detail. That's what Foundry and AIP do. Palantir doesn't just rely on historical data, it leverages predictive analytics to forecast future trends. It's like having a crystal ball, but one powered by hard data and cutting-edge algorithms, not mysticism. But here's where Palantir sets itself apart. Contextual AI, Palantir doesn't apply generic AI models. It understands the specific context of each industry and company. It's like having an AI that fluently speaks your industry's language. This has been Palantir's strategy from the start, secure one big customer in an industry, learn everything about it, then pitch to others within the same field. It's quite genius. Integration is key. Palantir's AI isn't just an add-on feature, it's embedded throughout Foundry and their software. This means it doesn't just analyze data, it helps collect, clean, and organize it. Third, Palantir's AI is explainable. Unlike many black box AI systems, Foundry's AI can explain its reasoning, which is crucial for industries where decisions need to be transparent and auditable, especially if they're regulated. And while it keeps data separate and secure, Foundry can apply insights gained from one industry to another. It's like having a consultant with experience working with the top companies worldwide, bringing all that wisdom to solve your specific problems. If you're still skeptical, just look at the real-world use cases we discussed earlier, there's proof that it works. Now, how big could this market be for Palantir? Let's explore the numbers, and I warn you, they might just blow your mind. Palantir is targeting a total addressable market, TAM, of $865 billion by next year, including IT service and software spending from key sectors like financial services, utilities, manufacturing, and healthcare. Let's look at three scenarios for Palantir's market capture. Conservative scenario, Palantir captures just 0.5% of this market. Neutral scenario, Palantir captures 1%. Optimistic scenario, Palantir captures 
even in the conservative scenario, that translates into potential revenue of $4.3 billion. In the neutral scenario, revenue reaches $8.6 billion. And in the optimistic case, we're talking about $17 billion in revenue. To put that into perspective, Palantir's current revenue is around $2 billion, so even the conservative estimate would represent significant growth. Don't forget that God the creator of heaven and earth is the giver of all wealth. Acknowledge him in your plans and he will direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 If you have watched the whole video until the end, drop a comment like this, I stayed until the end. Just comment that I stayed until the end. When I see this comment, I will give you a heart. There are three more important steps to build wealth. First, like this video, subscribe and then turn on the notifications bell. If you do this, you highly motivate me to continue bringing to you transformative videos every week. Do not miss out on our future videos full of knowledge and wisdom, all I am asking is your subscription. Thanks for joining us today, your support is appreciated so much. Do not hesitate to share this video to help someone, I recommend that you watch the next video, subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts about today's video. Thank you, see you in the next video by God's grace, we love you, and blessings to you.